Well, we've got a very special guest with us, Jennifer. That's right. We have 13 world champion Gary Kasparov, human rights activist, author, <laughs> and of course, the brain behind the Grand Chess Tour. Gary in the yeah. house. <laughs> yeah, like the Hi reflective uh, glasses Hi there, guys. dude. Yes. I can Greetings with your screen. Sunny Croatia. Ah, from sunny Croatia. Oh. Yes, from sunny Croatia. Uh, it's 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 uh, already nine nine quarter past nine. Uh, PM, so it's not that sunny, but still, the temperature today was nearly just it's, uh, over over 100. So, what are your impressions so far of the St. Louis Rapid and Blitz? Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where to start. I, this is the again. I you know, when I made made blunders two years ago. Okay, I could justify it by being old and rusty. But these guys are making blunders that that you know it's even I'm getting confused. <laughs> it's just it's the it's, no. I, I think that's the only one explanation. They are just they are overworked. Mm -hmm. The guys are tired, right? Because there's so many mistakes, so many blunders. I mean, look look at MVL in blitz. I mean, MVL report MVL is the, the second round today. It's uh, Black Cat just technically winning position. I mean, any move, knight f4, and this, he plays g5, and then rook takes d4, spending one second. And it's just instead of winning, he's lost. Um, and um, and uh, now, obviously, you want to ask me about Magnus. I, my answer is I don't know. <laughs> Do you? Yes. <laughs> How can you explain that? So, Magnus losing four games in rapid? No. Which one? It, it, the, the style, it is, it's not a losing games. I mean, just the game was erroneous. It's just, it's, it's, I think he could, he could finish it off blindfold. I mean, it's, it's technical winning position. You either castle or play queen e2, queen e3. Just it's the, he doesn't need time. He had 15 minutes on his clock, and then bishop h7, knight h4. Okay, missing rook e4. Yes, I could have missed it, you know, uh, today, maybe two years ago, but 25 years ago, uh, I doubt. So it's the, uh, I, again, my only explanation is I think the guys just they play too much. But it's somehow but, they, just, they they lose the senses and just the, the, the fingers because something is dead wrong. I mean, you you can't have so many mistakes that that are not typical. It's just they they're great experts in blitz or rapid. Ga Gary Magnus had a month off. A month. You can't say yeah, that, he, Magnus, that he he was tired. Yeah, but look, still, you know, how many tournaments he played this year? Exactly. Yeah, you start can't count all tournaments. It's not just you know. And also, again, with Magnus, it's just probably it's you know we have to separate Magnus from the rest of the field, because with Magnus, it's just it's, it could be another story. It's just you. It's like a democal sword. You know, he plays every tournament. Everybody expects him to win. And trust me, you know, I I, I was in this situation. It's 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 hell of a pressure on you. Yes, it's and one day you know things could go wrong, and then you get nervous like avalanche snowball. One mistake is followed by another. You famously when the, yeah. Oh, I wanted to ask you. You famously said that the chess world's a better place when Levan Aronian is playing well. Um, what do you make of his performance here so far? Look, he's definitely the most stable player. I wouldn't say he was over impressed because he had a pretty bad end game against MVL in the first round in, in, in Rapid. So he was lost against Magnus. But you know, it's 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 this, this tournament is not about being creative, it's about being steady. And definitely Vaughn is steady. So that's just, he's he's not making as many blunders as others do. So and that's why he's on top. And again, it's good, good news. So just you know, he shows stamina. If he can, you know, keep up with he with this pace and with his this quality of not making blunders and just playing solid games, so he can win tournament convincingly and you know prob probably will secure his. I don't know. I'm not sure he wants to secure his spot. You know, uh, for London final. But it seems to me that except Magnus, nobody can be sure anymore. Even MVL after winning Paris. So you say that you think there's a lot of blunders and that part of the reason is because the players are so tired because the chess calendar is so crowded. But isn't that also a good thing that so many people want to host phenomenal chess tournaments? What's your solution? I don't have a solution. So I'm just, you know, I feel sorry about my my former colleagues because, again, as a, you know, seeing them making blunders and looking at Internet, uh, you know, seeing lol, 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 you know, from from bunch of amateurs, you know, that uh, makes me feel almost sick. <laughs> so people are celebrating when MVL or Magnus making a blunder. I don't like it. 
Yeah. <laughs> but, but hey, you, you came up with the Grand Chester. You must have some solution. <laughs> Fix it for us, Gary. Look, but it's just the, no, it's, look, it's, the, it's the, the solution cannot be found just within Grand Chester. The solution can be in you know, a complex, but we are dealing with crazy for the calendar. I mean, they just, these, these guys are just coming at the last minute with four extra tournaments. So when we when we extended Grancher's tour in, in, in uh, for this year, having you know eight events instead of you know five or six, so we looked at the calendar and it was empty. Okay, not empty, but it had many 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 holes that we could fill. Yeah, because there's no Chess Olympia, there's no candidate, there's no World Championship match. So we thought, okay, why not why not ex expanding Grancher's tour? Because as you said, great news, more people would like to 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 host it. We could go to Africa, we could go to India, so we could go to Romania. But all of a sudden, you know, we just, you know, we had to deal with FIDE, you know, installing four, four quali uh, qualification tournaments into the, uh, 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 into the calendar. And that's, you know, and, and uh, not, you don't, you don't expect all the players to refuse uh, uh, FIDE qualifiers because they, they want to, they want to have a chance, fair chance to qualify. But that means, you know, they have to play almost, you know, every week. Exactly. So maybe we just have to have the people online watching the game stop writing lol lol. <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, no, they're they're no, just going to talk. They'll do it because of the computer. So that's just, and it's, it's, they, they could see that the evaluation jumps, you know, minus four to plus four. Look, from, you know, if, if we treat it as an entertainment, that's good news. So, and I don't know, you know, about humiliation of the players because, you know, they, I think some of them are also thinking about, my God, you know, I just blundered and now everybody's laughing at me on the internet. You should probably ask, Maurice, you should ask them, you know, whether they think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, hater, haters are going to hate and those people who are laughing could not hold a candle to those great players. I, I don't think we can worry I about do. that. No way in the world. I do, I do. You know, I just, I, I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I'm nostalgic about times when I played carpool. We could make a blunder and nobody dared to criticize us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it, yeah. But otherwise, look, it's, it's, it's a great entertainment. I still think that what we know today, you know, after Abidjan, after Zagreb, after Paris, and now, you know, in St. Louis, Grand Chester is a great success. It's just it's it brings attention of the of uh, from the entire world. And uh, again, if we can fix the calendar and make sure players have a little bit of rest between tournaments, you know, it will it will go on. It will, it will continue. And I'm you know, and of course St. Louis, you know, it's uh, proved again. It's a uh, it's a capital of the chess world. Gary, uh, about what you were saying about the players being tired, I noticed in Croatia uh, during the um, classical Grand Chess Tour event that you only had one free day, 11 games in one free day. You talk about exhausting the players. There were some exhausted players in Croatia. We're going to have the same in the Singfield Cup. They have only one free day. How come we couldn't have allowed for a second free day in oh, these the, uh, classical? The, okay. There are two reasons. One, of course, is the cost of the event. You know, that's the you have to respect local organizers. But another one, is actually Kevin. You know, that's just it's every day counts. So Zagreb was so close. So that's the it's to 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 uh, to the next uh, feed event. So it's, yes, I couldn't agree more. I mean, it's, I would if if I had you know if I if I had my say and we could have a calendar you know fixed you know, without any for uh, alien interference. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely add at least one one extra day for, 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 for classical, maybe even two, just, you know, to make sure that they have rest and they just, you know, they can come back, you know, fresh and just, you know, hungry for a good fight. Exactly. So it was just that the Riga Grand Prix interfered there. Yeah, OK, this is all Grand Prix, you know. I just I remember when in, in the beginning of this year, we, we got a call from FIDE saying, excuse me, guys, that now we have to res reschedule your events because we have four, four extra tournaments to add. And, and then, just, you know, then we had to start pushing things around. So the, uh, the, the game is about to start, but Gary, who do you think is going to surprise us and make the final four to London? Obviously, Magnus extremely likely to get in. Are there any dark horse picks that you have for the, one of those four spots? Uh, again, I think that Aronian will, 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 will fill one spot. So again, is he's known for just losing his nerve, you know, at the last, last, you know, critical moment. But it seems to me that he's, you know, he's in, he's he's quiet now. He he's, he plays steady chess. Um, look, I mean, I mean, if MVL comes back to his normal shape and blitz, he should do well in this tournament and will offer him a chance. 
And I think that's the it's the, the rest is just you know, it's up for grab. I mean, it just it's the look. Classical offers offers big opportunity, and uh, I would I would look at Caruana as just you know as you know it might be his chance to grab the spot. So his performance in, in rapid and blitz is is yet to be yet to be improved. Gary, we want to thank you so much for joining us. Uh, get back to enjoying enjoying the lovely weather and the games as we're about to start our next round. Thank you, my friend. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. And, uh, Thanks, Gary. Okay, soon. In, in, what, in two weeks' time, yes? Okay, bye. Okay. Thanks, Gary. Wonderful to have um, his thoughts on the Grand Chess Tour. And while he might not be pleased with the number of mistakes, um, the fans are certainly entertained by this incredible series of events with almost $2 million in prize fund.